two, one, go. All right, so as for more information on the German guest workers, during the 1950s and 60s, West Germany signed a, a recruitment agreement with Italy, Greece, Turkey, Morocco, Portugal, Tunisia, and Yugoslavia. These agreements allowed the recruitment of Geisterbeiters, or the, the um, guest workers, to work in the industrial sector for jobs that required few qualifications. There are several reasons for signing these contracts. First of all, Germany experienced a so-called economic miracle and it needed laborers. The labor shortage was made more acute by the creation of the Berlin Wall in August of 1961, which reduced the large-scale flow of East German Im immigration virtually to zero overnight. Besides this, the federal public saw it as a form of developmental aid. It was hoped that the Gastarbeiter would learn useful skills in Germany which could help them build their home countries after returning home. The first Gastarbeiter recru recruited from European nations. Turkey, however, pressured the Federal Republic to allow their countrymen to become guest workers. After uh, 1961, Turkish citizens soon became the largest group of Gastarbeiter in West Germany. The perception at the, at the time on the part of both of the, the West German government and the Turkish Republic representatives was that the working in Germany would be only temporary. The migrants, mostly male, were allowed to work in Germany for a period of one or two years before returning to the home country in order to make room for other migrants. Many migrants did return after having built up savings for the return. Now, I will show you how this worked with a map. Give me just a second. All right, now this country right here is Germany, the red one, and citizens moved into, oh, moved into Germany from Turkey and from France and Italy in this direction, and the German workers stayed there for about two years and then they came, went back to their homelands. So there would be arrows going into Germany and then right back out again after two years. <clears throat> okay. Until very recently, Germany was not perceived as a country of immigration. But both the majority of its political leaders and the majority of its population when political leaders realized that many of the persons from certain countries living in Germany were jobless, some calculations were done, and according to those calculations, paying unemployed foreigners for leaving the country was cheaper in the long run than paying unemployment benefits. <clears throat> and a law to advance the willingness to return home was passed. The government started paying jobless people from a number of nations, such as Turks, Moroccans, and Tunisians, um, repatriation grant and repatriation help if they returned home. A person returning home received 10,500 um, currency and an additional 1,500 currency called Duschmark for his spouse and also 1,500 Duschmark for each of his children if they returned home to his country in his, of his origin. So this Geisterbeiter technique is still currently going on today. And that is all I have to say on the subject.